Hi, in this video, let's solve one more example on the expansion formula. Consider the example. By using the expansion formula, obtain the root polynomial for the board C shown below. Uh, so, the procedure is same as the previous example. So, as per the expansion formula, we will consider any of the square to mark it as the asterisk. So, it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's our choice. But in this example, I'm considering 1 as the asterisk symbol. If you choose 2, 3, or 4, 5, any place or any square, you will get the same root polynomial for all the possibilities. So it's our choice or our opinion to choose the asterisk symbol. Uh, so if you choose 1 to mark, as, mark it as an asterisk, then uh, as per the first step, the corresponding row and the column should be disabled so the resultant board can be look like this so this portion is already disabled along with that as per the asterisk symbol the row row and the corresponding column should be disabled so the remaining squares are 2 4 5 7 8 so name it as board d and the same way the second step in which we need to disable the square in which the asterisk symbol is present so here we need to this is the asterisk symbol we need to disable this position and this is already disabled as per the given example and this portion also so we left out with 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and name this board as e now we have got we have divided the given board into two different partitions now it's time to find out the root polynomial for the individual boards now let's consider the board d so in the board d the number of squares present is r1 is equal to 5 and let's find out the r2 value so here i'm going to solve r2 is equal to so the possible positions are 2 4 and 2 7 next 4 8 and 5 7 so by observation these are all the only possibilities we have for the position of the two pawns same way let's calculate r3 value so r3 is placements of the three pawns so first pan over 2 the second pan over 4 and the third pan don't have any rooms we can't place on the either 8 or 7 because they may come in the same column so r3 is equal to 0 so that r of dx can be written as let me write the generalized formula 1 plus r1x r1x plus r2x square so on that is equal to 1 plus r1 value is 5 so 5x plus r2 value is 4 4 x square we don't have the r3 value it is 0 so this is the root polynomial for the board d same way find out the root polynomial for the board e so here r1 value the total number of squares are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so r1 is equal to 7 and r2 can be calculated for the placement of the two paths so the positions are let's start with the 2 so 2 4 2 6 2 7 next we have 3 4 3 5 3 4 3 5 3 6 is not possible next 3 7 and 3 8 so after that we have 4 4 8 and 5 7 and 6 7 6 8 so these are all the possible positions let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so r2 is equal to 11 same way let's calculate r3 value r3 for the placement of the three pawns so first pawn over 2 the second pawn over 6 and the third pawn over 7 so 2 6 7 same way 
any other possibilities with 2 2 4 8 is not possible 2 6 7 is over okay that's it next we have got 3 3 4 8 3 5 7 3 4 8 and 3 5 7 and with 4 5 6 and all it's not possible to place the 3 pass so r3 value is equal to 3 so next let's calculate root polynomial for r of e x is equal to we have the generalized formula 1 plus r1 x plus r2 x square plus r3 x cube so as per that 1 plus r1 value is 7 so 7 x plus r2 value is 11 11 x square plus r3 value is 3 so 3 x cube so this is the resultant root polynomial for the board e now let's find out the root polynomial for the entire board that is r of cx is equal to the expansion formula is given by x into r of dx plus r of ex that is equal to r of x into r of dx is 1 plus 5x plus 4x square and plus r of ex is equal to 1 plus 7x plus 11x square plus 3x cube. Next, by simplification, we will get it as x plus 5x square plus 4x cube plus 1 plus 7x plus it will be as it is 11x square plus 3x cube. The final answer I am going to write here. So, 1 plus 7x plus x is 8x plus 11x square plus 5x square is 16x square plus 4x cube plus 3x cube is 7x cube. So, this is the resultant root polynomial for the R of cx that is for the entire board. So, this completes with the example and as I told you before, the square asterisk symbol can be placed in any of the square if you place in one either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or 7, 8 any position we can divide the board and we can find out the root polynomial for each of the case we will get the same root polynomial. This is the condition. Thank you.